Good morning, modern steaders. I've been on Amazon quite a bit lately. You know, it is the season with Christmas and everything. And Amazon had in their recommended purchases Survival 550 Paracord or Paracord. I looked at it, I'm like, what is this all about? So there's different cords in here. See the red one right here. This red one right here is a fire starter. And then the yellow one supposedly is a fishing line. Really? That's a fire starter? I said, I gotta try it. So what would any self-respectable guy do? I got my paracord in the mail and I made a bracelet. You gotta see this, guys. I think my daughter Olivia will be proud of my art and craft skills. You guys ready for this? Look at my survival bracelet I made. Isn't that just awesome? I mean, boom. I got everything I need now. I got my fire starter and I got my fishing line. Let's see if we can survive. This is gonna start a new fad. That's pretty awesome. Simple, easy DIY. Today I thought we'd put it to the test and I wanna test it side to side to the best fire starter that I know, which is birch bark. Birch bark will start in any weather. Doesn't matter if it's wet or not. And it's a good thing because it's been raining out overnight. This is soaking wet. That's more than enough right there. You can always pack this in with you, just like you're gonna pack in your bracelet. That's not gonna be grown in the wild. Let's go in our survival shelter, AKA chicken tractor. Let's see if I can find some dead pine. Makes for some really good fire starter material right here. Let's see how dry it is. Oh, that's nice and dry. It's wet. It's been raining out overnight. Rain, snow, freezing rain. So it's a perfect day to do the test. That should be a good amount. I'm glad we're in our survival shelter. It's not in terrain out. That would not be fun. All right, so first one we're gonna test is our paracord survival bracelet. See, look how easy it is to, to come apart. That's perfect. You know what? If you guys like these, I could start making them and selling them on our website. Yeah, that'd be some pretty cool merchandise. So we're gonna take it, I'm gonna pull it out. Ooh, one piece. Not sure how good this is gonna work. Like, do I need to cut it up? If I cut it up, then I'm not gonna have a long piece of fishing line. There's the fishing line. Do we pull it all out? Let's see. And then I'm not gonna have a bracelet. Man. All right, let's see. See if what we can come up with. I'm not going fishing today. No. But I guess I guess we could always test the fishing line someday. Let's see how that works. Let's see. Just keep pulling it. There we go. I didn't measure, so I don't know how long of a length we have. Just enough to wrap around my wrist and make a nice bracelet. All right, let's take out the fire starter. Before we go any further, which one do you think is gonna work best? The survival bracelet or the birch bark? My guess is, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna share my guess. Well, wait, I got a magnesium stick and I have a Bic lighter. Let's take half of this cord. So maybe we can do a couple of tests. 
and see which how much we need. I'll set half aside and then I'll cut this into little strips. All right, let's see. Let's put some of our pine under it so once we get it going, it'll have something to catch on fire. Take the magnesium stick, I'm gonna shave off some magnesium. Let's do this, try to catch the magnesium in a leaf. didn't work. I did it. I'm not liking this, guys. Ugh. About ready to take out the lighter. Whoop. I almost had it. It's landing on the rope, the fire starter, it's not staying going though. We're gonna get it. No, not working. Let's try the Bic lighter. All right. I have to add in. Uh oh. Uh oh. Where'd my survival starter rope go? Oh, it's right here, guys. Even the rope itself doesn't want to stay. Ah, oh, there we go. Let some more rope in. Ooh, that's hot. Let's see if we can get our fire going. Come on, fire rope. Do your thing. So the rope will stay going, oh, but it doesn't want to get my fire started. I know I'm not using dry kindling or nothing, but this is a real world test. 
I'm out in the wild and it's raining out like it is right now. This is what I have to work with. Is that gonna work? No. Yeah. I don't think so. Let's try birch bark. I'm gonna put a piece in the bottom. The birch bark is wet. It's wet. Put some there. Some there. We'll get some of our pine kindling over here. It's kind of a bummer my bracelet didn't work, guys. I was enjoying my bracelet. All right. Got our magnesium. Hold that down and under. Let's see, just doing this, what happens? Smell the birch. All right, let's do some more magnesium. the birch bark I can keep the magnesium in one area a lot easier magnesium easier <laughs> oh guys Ooh. Oh, so close that happened a lot faster too than I did with the rope Try it again. Okay, I got another good pile of magnesium going. I don't know how well you can see that. There we go. There we go, we're getting it going. This birch stuff, once you get it going, it don't matter how wet it is, it just burns crazy. There we go. There's more of that birch over here. This stuff just gets so hot. Oh, stay going. There we go. Unlike the birch, unlike the rope, we can add more to it and it'll stay going. Let's bring some fire over this way. Get some more small kindling in there. The kindling's wet. It's the same pine as last time. Let's see. Oh, it smells so good. It smells so good. See, give it a minute. Well, there we go. We got our fire going with the birch bark. Oh, that's going nice now, guys. Nice. For a minute there, I wasn't sure if we were going to be able to get any of those fires going. It's a real world situation. It's raining out pretty good. Everything's wet. I wanted to know if I get caught in a predicament like this, my truck goes off the road, whatever. Can I start a fire and what's going to work best? Burt's bark is awesome. It's good to know because around here, it's pretty prevalent. And if you're going to pack paracord in a survival kit, why not pack some birch bark? It burns hot, works good. If you guys are new to the channel, thanks for stopping over Lumna Acres. It's a little bit of a different video for us. 
If you guys have been watching the channel for a while, you know that, but I've been having fun lately posting a bonus video for the week and just making it different. It's just something a little bit different for me and fun to do. I hope you guys like the bonus videos and what we've been doing them on. If you have any ideas of what else you'd like to see for a bonus video during the week, leave them in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys right back here next time at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.